Google just released Gemini 3 and the user interface design is out of this world. Here are some examples of designs I made in one single prompt. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use it for free and how to get the most out of this new model from Google because the era of AI looking apps is over since Gemini 3 now designs like a professional. So let's get into it. All right, so here's a landing page design I created in one single prompt using the new Gemini 3. And if you've ever vibe coded, this is a major upgrade from what we would have gotten previously. This looks extremely good. You know, this is very clean and does not look generic or AI generated. So if I come over to Lovable, this is an example of what our user interfaces would have looked like if we're using something like Claude, ChatGPT, or even Gemini 2.5, their Google's last AI model. It looks extremely basic. This is one, one prompt and this is what it gave me. That looks absolute garbage. So this is what we're able to build now. And let me show you another example right now that was created with Gemini 3 in literally one prompt. So here's another example, pretty similar style. And again, this was created in one single prompt. Let me show you another example with a different style. So I basically gave Gemini 3 this prompt here, build me a premium Swiss styled website. And it's a pretty complex prompt, basically explaining exactly how I want this to look. I used ChatGPT to help me actually come up with a design style. I basically just wanted a Swiss styled website and it expanded and gave me this prompt to give it. But guys, look at how clean this site looks right here. This does not, in my opinion, look like it's AI generated at all. And let me show you right now how you can start doing this yourself for free. All right, so first of all, you're gonna look up Google AI Studio. And when you're inside of Google AI Studio, you're gonna click on this build feature over here. And then you can see we now have Gemini 3 Pro Preview accessible. That's a model that we're gonna be using to actually vibe code. For example, I could just click on this, say I'm feeling lucky and have it build me a website. So let's go ahead and watch it do its thing. All right, so this is the output it gave us. And one thing I wanna mention here is is this looks pretty AI generic. It looks generated with AI. And the reason for that is because I did not use a good prompt. I used a very basic prompt. Let me show you exactly what that prompt was. You can see it's one sentence and I hardly have any instruction here, especially with the styling of how I want our app generated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to enhance this prompt. I'm gonna use a custom GPT I made in ChatGPT to basically make the instruction much more in depth. All right, I'm gonna come back to Google AI Studio and just click on build. This is the prompt that I have from ChatGPT. This one, you can see it's super specific on exactly what we want it to look like. We have component styles, we have you know rounded corners on our buttons, all of these different things. So let's actually compare and contrast our outputs here. And again, this is completely free to use using Google AI Studio right now. And the reason for that, but there is one caveat. So if we decide to add any AI features to our app, such as like either text generation with Gemini or image or video generation, we are gonna have to pay per generation when we're actually using our app in production. But if we don't do anything like that, and for example, we're just building a landing page like this, then we don't have to pay anything. So this is a great way for you to begin testing out this new model to see the capabilities before using this inside of something like Lovable or Bolt or any of your favorite VOD coding platforms. And also right now, Google AI Studio doesn't have any built-in backend features. So we could only do the front end of our app. All right, so we just built this app. I guess it lets you generate merch from just uploading your logo. So let me go ahead and try it out now. I'm gonna add an Apple logo. And then as you can see, we have these different products here. So let me take this canvas tote bag and it looks like we could like basically edit this like this with this drag and drop slider here, or we could just generate the realistic mock-up. So let me just click on this and it should now add our logo to whatever product we have here. And honestly, the user interface of this looks pretty solid. This is one prompt, so we could get way more complex with this. And there we go, that looks really solid. We could even download the image here. Boom, and just like that, we have a merch generating app from just uploading a logo. So that's one cool use case that I built in, again, just one single prompt. All right, so again, in one prompt, I created this. It's a design system generator. So essentially it takes any logo and then creates a Swiss styled brand guide for that company, just based on the logo. So I uploaded this image here that says fresh. It looks like it's an orange brand guide, vibrant orange, modern. It shows our color palette here. It even shows the typography, shows our button labels, our background style, usage notes, content card, all of this stuff here. So we have a brand guide and we can basically export this as a PDF instantly. And now we have this PDF that was generated via our app in Gemini 3. Guys, that's crazy. Honestly, this is such a cool use case. And I think the design of this app looks flawless. This does not look AI generated. I'm super stoked with how this turned out. And this was all done inside of Google AI Studio that you can use right now for free. So guys, there we have it. There's Gemini 3. If you guys got some value from this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, let me know what you think of this and happy vibe coding. I'm excited to see what you guys build with this.